Additional initial configuration options for cPanel resellers. This tutorial will continue with the additional configuration of our cPanel reseller account. This will cover some of the additional options that you may want to configure before adding accounts to your domains. The options covered in this tutorial can be implemented after accounts are created. However, implementing these settings after accounts exist will require editing the settings in any existing account manually, then applying them to the accounts. Click the Skeleton Directory link. The Skeleton Directory is the default directory structure that is used to create the structure of the accounts you create. This is the system path to the location of the Skeleton Directory for our user. The contents of this directory can be edited using the File Manager in the cPanel for the primary domain or modified via an FTP. For more information on editing your Skeleton Directory, refer to the tutorial Using the Skeleton Directory. Click the main link. By default, your account is configured to use the name servers that are specified on the server. However, you can register name servers that are based off of your own domain and use those instead of the ones provided. These are called private name servers. Private name servers have to be registered through your registrar to point to the IP addresses that are on the server. When accounts are created in WHM, the DNS settings in the zone for the domain are added based off of a template. This template can be modified to create zones with the records you want automatically. Next, let's customize our zone template so that accounts are created to reference our private name servers instead of the default ones. Click the DNS functions icon. Click the Edit Zone Templates icon. Click the Standard link. First, let's edit the Start of Authority, or SOA, record to reflect this change. Next, let's edit the name server, or NS, records. Since this server happens to only have two name servers specified in the configuration, we only need to edit the first two NS records that are in the template. The third and fourth NS records can either be removed or left as is. We can also add the settings to create other records automatically. Next, let's add an additional record for the subdomain Webmail that we want created automatically in the zones on our domains. For more information about editing the zone template and managing DNS, refer to the following tutorial, Managing DNS in WHM. Click the Save button. Changes made to the zone template will not affect any existing zones on the server. Any existing zones will have to be either removed and recreated or edited manually to reflect the changes. Next, let's update the address or A records for our private name servers in the zone for our primary domain. 
Click the main link. Click the DNS functions icon. Click the Edit DNS Zone icon. Select the zone to edit. Click the Edit button. Since our private name servers are currently registered to point to our previous name servers, WHM automatically added A records to point to the corresponding IP addresses. After the site for our domain is migrated, we will be changing the registration to point to the IP addresses on this server. Let's change the records to point to the correct IP addresses as if we've already updated the registration through our registrar. If your private name servers have not been registered yet to point to any IP addresses, then you won't have A records for them in your zone. However, in preparation, you can add the A records here. Since we will also be hosting email for this domain on this server, we will want to check this checkbox. If we were hosting email on a different server, we would leave it unchecked. Click the Save button. As with any changes to DNS records, the changes can take up to 72 hours to propagate if there are cached records at the resolvers that have not expired. As our name servers are currently registered to point to DNS located somewhere else, this propagation period will not start until we update the registration through our registrar. Click the main link. Congratulations! You now know how to set up the initial configuration of a new cPanel reseller account.